and here we are and this is episode three and in this episode we're going to be configuring our Android tablet control panel so that it automatically charges itself via the installed smart plug when the battery level drops to 20% and also it will stop charging when it reaches 80% so it will keep the battery level hopefully between 20% and 80% of battery level. Just to confirm, I'm using a TP-Link CASA smart plug and it's the model KP105. There are only certain smart plugs apparently which work with Home Assistant and this is one which is stated on the Home Assistant webpage that is actually compatible with Home Assistant, hence why I'm using this one. So here we are at the third episode in the series of setting up the Android tablet as a remote control panel for Home Assistant. Now in this third episode we are going to be setting up some automations so that your Android panel gets automatically charged up when the battery level drops below a certain point and also it will stop charging when the battery reaches a certain level. So before we create the automation you first need to make sure in your Home Assistant panel and in Fully Kiosk Browser you need to make sure that one of the settings is enabled. So from your panel, select from the Fully Kiosk Browser menu by pulling your screen from the left hand side, you will bring up this Fully Kiosk Browser menu. Click on Settings, then with Settings loaded as you will see on screen, you need to scroll down and go to Device Management. Then from the Device Management options, you need to scroll down and for Get Device Admin, force Getting Device Admin permission, you need to make sure that this is enabled. So it should be pushed to the right and it should be coloured blue. So you need to do that first before you can create the automation. Otherwise the automation I find will not work without Get Device Admin permissions set to forced here. So now that we've done that we can come out of the tablet and we'll go into Home Assistant and create the automation. So here we are in Home Assistant and we're at the overview screen. So to create the automation to control the charging of the panel on the Android tablet which is a Samsung Galaxy A7 tablet I'm using as I've mentioned before what we need to do is click on settings then from settings you need to select automations and scenes then from the list of automations you will see in episode 2 we created the screen auto on off automation so that will be in your list of automations on screen at the moment so if you haven't seen that then go back and watch episode 2 right so to create the automation we need to click create automation and then create new automation then under triggers click on add trigger and then select numeric state then under the entity line start to type in the name of your tablet and then once you have brought up the list of various items against your tablet you need to select the name of your tablet with battery against it so in this case mine's Tim tab a7 battery then for the below mode not the above mode make sure you're typing in in the below mode section so in the grey below line type in 20 meaning 20% battery then click the three dots and select edit 
ID. Then in the trigger ID line, which is the grey trigger ID line, type in the word below. Then once you have done that, you can click the little arrow to collapse that item. Then again, click on add trigger and then select again numeric state. Then for the entity, again select your tablet with the word battery against it. And then this time in the above mode and the grey above line type in 80, meaning 80% battery. Then again click the three dots for that trigger that we are adding and select again edit ID. Then in the trigger ID box type in above and then collapse that line. Then under actions click add action and then select from the drop down menu choose. Then under the condition click the add condition button and then select triggered by and then under the word trigger you'll see that there's two check boxes. Put a tick against below and then select the add action button. This is the top add action button and not this bottom add action button. So click the add action button and then select call service. Then under the service start to type in switch and in this case we need to select switch turn on. Then for the targets you need to select choose device and then choose the name of your smart plug to which your Android panel is plugged into. In this case mine's called smart plug one. Then once you have done this what this will do is trigger the smart plug to actually charge the battery when the battery level drops to below 20% and then it will turn the switch on on the smart plug. So once you have done that you can then collapse that action with the little arrow button and then again select add action and then select choose and then under condition and then under actions again select add action and then select call service. Now in the service line start again to type in switch and this time we want to select switch turn off. Then under the targets again click on choose device and again select your smart plug. Then you'll notice that I've missed the conditions so here we will select add condition and then again we will select triggered by and then this time we will select the trigger and tick above. So this time when the battery level reaches 80% and goes above 80% it will call the service to turn off the smart plug which will then stop it charging. So all in all it will keep the battery level charged between 20% and 80%. So once you have completed that action you can then click the little arrow next to choose between one action to collapse that. Then once you have done that we can click save in the bottom right hand corner and then from the save box that appears on screen you can give it the automation a name and in this case I'll call it auto charge panel and click save and that completes creating that charging automation so then you can go back to the list of automations by clicking the arrow here and then you'll see we now have two automations created one from episode two which is the screen auto on off and also the auto charge panel. 
Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this short series of Home Assistant videos. Hopefully I'll be doing more Home Assistant videos in the future. So don't forget to hit subscribe, like and bell notification icons so that you get notified of further upcoming videos with Home Assistant related things. And also I'll be doing some more unified videos as well coming up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.